The Wiesman FIS Nordic Combined World Cup moved to Norway and Lillehammer, the venue for the 1994 Winter Olympics, for the second weekend of competition, but the opening round for the women. All eyes were on last season's overall World Cup winner Gita Hansen, who once again was the favourite for this winter. The 20-year-old started where she left off last season, winning the provisional round on day one and then laying down the biggest jump on day two of 101 metres. That meant she took a 12-second lead into the cross-country leg in which she started first and she extended that advantage over the 5km course to come home in a time of 14.27.1. Annika Sieff of Italy was second with Natalie Armbruster of Germany third. This is maybe one of the best uh, competitions I ever done. So I'm really satisfied with the day. So the signs were ominous for the rest of the field with Hansen feeling as if she is on top form. In the second competition, again on the normal hill, Hansen once again set the best jump. This time, the Norwegian landed 98 metres for a point score of 132. This meant she took a massive 57 seconds into the cross country. Given Hansen had taken nearly a minute out of the field in the first race, this was hers to lose. And while she didn't gain that much time in race two, she managed it perfectly to win it by over a minute. Behind her though, it was a full-on battle as three athletes went for the two remaining podium spots, Ida Hagen securing second, while Lisa Herner picked Armbruster in the photo for third. So, two wins from two for Hansen, the Norwegian is going to take some beating this season. On the men's side of things, all eyes were on the home athletes given their strong showing in round one in Finland. Jens Oftebro, who scored two podiums last weekend, landed the best jump of the opening round with a distance of 99 metres for a point score of 140.4. But it was a tightly grouped leaderboard as the skiers headed to the cross-country leg. While Oftebro had some company in the early stages, he pulled away over the course to come home by himself for his first victory of the season and third podium. Behind him, Jarriba came second, with Vincent Geiger of Germany in third for his first podium of the season. Jens Ofterblow on the top step of the podium for only the second time in his World Cup career. The final day of action saw the final men's race of the weekend. This time, though, they were on the large hill. Jarl Rieber of Norway, who took two wins in Rukka on the first weekend, was once again setting the early pace as he laid down the best jump. He landed 140 metres with good star marks to register 150.3 points. And that was enough to give him a 16-second lead over Mario Siedl of Austria in second. So to the cross country, which was raced over 10 kilometers. Lieber kept up the pressure on those behind as he started to extend his lead to come home comfortably in front. It's just go on and on and on and I'm still motivated for him anymore. So yeah, I'm just looking forward. Lieber registering his 52nd career win with Off the Blow and Geiger completing the podium. <laughs> 